All right, so we are going to start with our um, stoplight writing paragraph, which is at the bottom, writing a paragraph. We hopefully have our three colors of our highlighters ready to go, and you have colored the circles at the top, green, yellow, red, and green, or pink, um, for the um, red. Um, but basically, the reason we're doing all of this is because we want to remember the components, the parts, the ingredients of good writing, but we're going to use colors of the traffic light to help us recall what needs to be where, because half of the battle is making sure you have all the ingredients, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read the paragraph, and I'm going to read the paragraph to you, and then I don't want you to go fast with the highlighters because just because it mentions a color in the sentence does not mean that that's the color that you would highlight it. What makes this a tricky activity is you have to pay less attention to the names of the colors that are used in the paragraph and more attention to the functions of the sentences because that's going to give you your color coding. Okay, so no highlighting until I tell you, and we're going to be doing this one sentence at a time, and you're going to be doing it with me. Okay, so here we go. First job, read the paragraph to make sure we understand what it's about. The three colors of the traffic light help me remember how to write a simple paragraph. First, I use green to get me going. My topic sentence is green. It tells the reader what I am going to prove, explain, describe, or share. Next, yellow reminds me to slow down and support my topic with good reasons, interesting facts, or well-described details. I introduce my reasons, details, or facts with transitions. Finally, I see red, and it reminds me to stop. Red examples, explanations, evidence, and events bring my paragraph to life. My conclusion, of course, is green because I go back to my topic and use my last sentence to remind the reader of the topic. Okay, so the very first thing that we're going to do is um, we have the uh, task of looking at the very first sentence and deciding what color is it going to be. I will give you a hint. The colors of the circles at the top will give you a clue as to the first color. Don't say it out loud. Say it in your head. Now reach for the green highlighter. The very first sentence um, starts with green. Okay, so my text editing box is open here so that I can do some fancy schmancy highlighting. I'm going to do this digitally. You're going to do it um, with your green highlighter. Okay, so there we go. Um, oh, what did I do? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try this again. I know, Cameron, my man, you're probably telling me exactly what I'm doing wrong, right? Um, I'm not using the highlighter, of course, Cameron. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's my first sentence, okay? So green is what starts us off. Now, this first sentence is what's known as the topic sentence. The topic sentence defines what it is that you can talk about in a paragraph. So if you look at this, my entire paragraph is going to be about the three colors of the traffic light and how they help me to, re to write a paragraph. Okay, can't be about anything else. Can't be about how hard you think writing is, which it's not. Um, it can't be about like your favorite dog. It can't be about anything other than the three colors of the traffic light. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the second sentence. First, I use green to get me going. And you'll notice that we have a transition word that indicates that we're going to be talking about things and there's going to be some type of sequential order. You can see them here. First, next, finally. Okay, these are what's known as transition words. They're essentially like road signs to your reader that say, hey, I'm going to start talking about an idea. And with that said, this second sentence all the way down to here is going to be what color? 
what color is for key star ideas? The one that tells the reader, hey, slow down. I'm going to start talking about one of my ideas. And in this case, I'm going to start talking about one of the colors of the traffic light. Which highlighter should you be grabbing for? Yep, that's right, Kaden. Yellow. Okay, that whole thing is yellow. What? Say what? This sentence talks about green and we're highlighting it yellow. Magical. Okay. Remember we said it's more about what the job that the sentence is performing, right? Okay, so the next sentence says, next, yellow reminds me to, oh my goodness, I've got to start over again. Thank you. Thank you, Addison. I highlighted way too much. Here we go. There's yellow. Miss Jamba, you don't know what you're doing. I know. It's it's 718, you guys. I should be more awake than this. Okay, that's yellow. The rest is a detail. My topic sentence is green. It tells the reader what I'm going to prove, explain, describe, or share. Stop. Okay, so I'm still talking about green, but I'm adding more evidence. I'm explaining more. So in that case, it should be, and I can, I can highlight mine red, but you can't. There's um, a meaty detail that adds more about green. Here comes another transition word. Next, yellow reminds me to slow down and support my topic with good reasons, interesting facts, or well-described details. Just by nature of the fact that I've got this transition word here, we're looking at this being yellow. I'm going to be real careful with my highlighting now. Make sure I don't mess up, right? Right? I'll tell you. Okay, so yellow, right? I introduce my reasons, details, or facts with transitions. Okay, so I'm adding more meaty details to where we're, we're talking about yellow here. So this is going to be red. Okay, here's my red. Okay, finally, I see red. So if you'll notice, this is the sentence where I talk about green. This is the sentence where I talk about yellow. And now I'm going and I'm talking about red. So this sentence is going to be yellow. Okay. And then red examples, explanations, evidence, and events bring my paragraph to life. There we go. Um, this is going to be red. So you'll notice in the middle of a paragraph where you sort of talk about your ideas and add your own wording, evidence, elaboration, explanation, all of those things that might add more stuff here. That's the, the yellow and the red take turns um, with their, um, their jobs in the paragraph. And your paragraph is essentially begun and ended with what color? That's right, Rachel green. My conclusion, of course, is green because I go back to my topic and use my last sentence to remind the reader of the topic. So we're looking at green. There you go. So take a minute and um, make sure that your highlighted paragraph looks like mine and that you didn't make any errors there like I did. It's easier for me to um, erase my highlighting than it is for you, right? Okay. Now, the next screencast is going to explain what happens when you go to a bigger piece of writing. A piece of writing that isn't just a paragraph. It's a much longer essay. What do the colors look like when the essay is longer? Okay.